morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, August 29th. And like so many, um, before we get started with the topic, I just want to say life is short. Life is short and we truly have to be grateful for every minute and every second that we are here on this earth and I'm sitting here literally blown away literally blown away um today we we have lost another I call him a legend I call him a legend um, to acting, to film. Um, I'm truly just in shock, you know. Um, I actually um, woke up to this news and it just it just blew me away. It blew me away. Um, So we have lost actor Chadwick Boseman. I'm truly devastated by this because, you know, you don't have to know a person personally, but I feel like just through watching his career and watching him perform on screen and, you know, like I did know him, I feel like I did know him through what I saw on, on, on the screens. I saw a man full of passion. I saw a man truly committed until the end, you know, to, to giving us something that we will forever cherish. We will forever be able to go back and watch these films over and over. He was our black Panther, our black King. And so that today you see the topic of the show is black King because he was our black King, you know, for the first time, that I recall, and I could be wrong, but to be able to see a black man play a king and all these dope, I'm talking about the, the whole movie was just epic. And it let our black kids know that you can, you are royalty. You are royalty. Not that you can be it because we already were, but it brought it to life and it was so beautiful. And as a journalist, um, someone who has worked in media for years, I just, I, I patiently waited. I was like, one day, you know, I'm going to get to sit down with him. I'm going to get that exclusive interview with him. But even though I was never able to get that moment, I still loved him as an actor. You know, I still, oh man. This is so heavy. This is so heavy. Like, oh man, 2020 has been rough, you all. 2020 has been rough. You know, like some people have managed to find a little joy here and there. Yeah, you know, clapping and applauding for those who were able to start businesses this year. But this year has taken some people that it's like, oh my God. Goodness, we have been losing some legends this year, but oh my God, I was not expecting, uh, Chadwick, not Chadwick, but from the statement, um, he had been battling, uh, colon cancer since 2016. And uh, according to the statement released on Twitter, he passed away at his home with his family and his wife by his side. And um, he was only 43 years old. And um, according to the statement, a lot of the films that we were getting since 2016, he was going through countless surgeries and chemotherapy so he was really 
you know, really, really um, fighting to still do things for his fans, those who loved his work. He was still battling, you know, and and still trying to give us those films, you know, still trying to smile, uh, you know, just, ah, oh, man, you know, still trying to give us something, a part of him to remember him by, you know, sharing his life with us. And we, we're so grateful that he shared his life with us. So to the Balsman family, um, from myself, Tanisha Davis here at Start 100 Radio, I send my deepest condolences to you all during this loss. Um, I mourn with you, you know, because this is just wow. But we, we're so thankful to God for the time that he allowed us to experience greatness you know from chat with Bozeman we're we're so grateful to God that we were able to get these amazing films from 42 Jackie Robinson to um Black Panther to Thurgood Marshall and so many films um a host of other films that he was a part of we're so grateful that we were able to experience these things and I'm, I know that those who work beside him on set we're so grateful to have shared those moments with him on on set to to be able to work beside him you know I would always you know laugh and I would say man you know he's he's like the next Denzel he's the next Denzel but he was he was phenomenal he was phenomenal. As I watched him, I think his breakout film was the Jackie Robinson uh, movie in 2013. And I watched him. And I, when I saw that movie, I knew. I was like, oh, my goodness. This, this is a phenomenal actor. Like, I said, he brought this movie to life. And every film that I watched him play in... He brought the the movie to life like that person. He became that person. Even in Third Good Marshall, he beca- he brought him to life. And it was a lot of controversy, you know, behind him playing the role of Third Good Marshall. But he but I was like, you know what? I felt like he can play any role. He could play any role role there's not a role that he can't play there's not a role that he can't play you know and um it's just it's just truly truly uh devastating for me <sighs> man 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 <sighs> I, I I feel like I lost um family, you know? Like that that's that's how deep that is. That's this I feel like I lost a family member. You know, I really um watched his career and oh, man. We all sad this morning. We are all very sad. Those are who, uh, those of you like myself who were huge fans. Oh man, you know? Oh man. Uh <sighs> Um they were supposed to be working on um another part to the Black Panther movie that was supposed to come out um in May of 2022. Um uh, supposed to be the the saga to the Black Panther. Um I'm not sure if they're they were able to get anything or if they're going to release anything i'm sure everyone is going to still going to be like watching and waiting and hoping that um that something will be released or we'll be able to see something you know um someone who is very spiritual i always look at things like you know we have to 
even though it's sad and even though some people are like, man, you know, forget cancer and all this and that. And, and I feel the same way, but we just have to say, man, you know, we're grateful to God for his time. And at least he is not in pain anymore. You know, um, my mother, I watched her, you know, she uh, battled breast cancer this year and she went through the surgery and, you know, she was going through the chemotherapy and I saw what it was doing to her. And, um, and, and it was, it was a battle for her, you know, to go through all of that, but she did it, you know, and she survived it and it, it went into remission and not everyone gets the the opportunity to to pull through these things but i can only imagine the pain that he may have been going through but he was steady pushing you know he was steady pushing he was steady trying to 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 get on that screen because this is what i do this is what i love to do and and, and i know the people want to see me you know, like to fight to the end, you know, like, oh man. So you all, let's keep the Bosman family in prayers. Um, let's keep his wife in prayer. Um, and for all of you like me out there this morning who are sitting there just in shock, I'm praying for you too. Um, I really, (laughs) I just really feel like this is just really just brought the day to, to like pause, like, wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. So I pray that you have a wonderful day. I pray that you have an awesome weekend. I pray that you all stay safe, that you're wearing your mask. You're protecting yourselves, um, washing your hands. I pray that you spend more time with your family and your loved ones and, and the people who love you. I pray that you spend more time with them. I pray that you pick up the phone today to call family that you haven't spoke to in years I pray that you put aside your differences today, you know, because we never know. We never know when God is going to say, come on home. We never know. We never know when he's going to say you fought a good fight. Now it's time to come home. And I feel like for God that, that with Chadwick, God said you have fought a good fight. And he did. So my hearts go out to him and his family. And on that note, I am signing off, good people. I pray that you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Despite this devastating news, please try to stay encouraged and have a great weekend. Strong, at least in the beginning. Who would have thought?